Hi teachers, Christy Young here from Mrs. Young's Teaching Corner. Today I'm going to teach you how to take your iPad and turn it into a whiteboard for Zoom. If you don't have an iPad, stay tuned till the end because I'll provide some different options for you. Here we go. All right, let's get started. So first, you do need to have access to Office 365. You will be utilizing that program for this app. Most school districts have Office 365, so just make sure that you have that program before you jump into downloading the app. So step one is go to your app store and download the app Whiteboard. You're just gonna type in Whiteboard to the search engine and it will look like this. Click to download and install this app on your iPad or your tablet. Once you have downloaded and signed into the app, you're going to open up Zoom on your computer. Then you're gonna to go to Screen Share. Once you hit Screen Share, you will see an option where it says iPad via AirPlay. Click on that and then click Share. After you have clicked Share, it will notify you that you are to screen share with your iPad. So, on your iPad, you're going to pull down, mine is on the top right hand corner where I pulled down, it might be different on your device, and you are going to click the button that says screen share. It looks like this. Once you have allowed your screen to share, it will show up on your Zoom video. Okay, so now I am on Zoom and I'm gonna show you how it works. Um, on Zoom, I'm going to share screen, I'm clicking iPhone via AirPlay, and then I'm clicking share. Now I'm getting a notification that I need to screen mirror, and then I see Zoom, and I'm gonna click on the Zoom to screen mirror, and now you can see my iPad screen. Once I get to my iPad screen, I'm gonna to touch the whiteboard, and I can create a new whiteboard or use a previous whiteboard. So I'm gonna click on a new whiteboard. Now you do have two options. Right here you have three little bars. If you touch this, you can activate the pen. So if you have an Apple pen, you can use your pen to write on the whiteboard. If you do not have a pen, you can turn off the pen feature and you may use your finger. There we go, you have to click on the pen. Okay, hope that helps. So I can already hear some of you saying, I don't have an iPad. I have a few alternative options for you. Okay, so the first option I have for you is to use an actual whiteboard with your iPhone document camera. If you haven't yet seen my video tutorial on how to take your iPhone and turn it into a document camera, then click on the link in the description below for that tutorial. You basically use your whiteboard just like you would any other whiteboard. Now, if you did not bring your whiteboard home, that's okay. Any glossy surface can serve as a whiteboard. So on my desk right here, kids love this by the way, I'm going to write right on top of the desk. Um, I like to use a magic eraser and it comes right off when you're using an Expo marker. And last but not least is the option within Zoom. They do have a whiteboard option. If you click on the whiteboard, you can use your mouse and you can draw, you can type. There's a lot of different options that you can do. It is a little bit tricky trying to write with your mouse or on your finger on, with your laptop, um, but that is also an option. I hope this helps. Happy teaching.